so he has a question that a lot of people have, and I see it's on your list as well. Um, you have how many degrees? I have uh, two degrees and one certification. And you create YouTube videos, you have an academy, you have a full-time job, um, you have a, do you have a social life? It's like, how on earth do you balance all this stuff? Yeah, so I wasn't a great person to ask about that originally um, <laughs> because no, I did not have a social life. Um, I'm not sure that was the correct decision. On the one hand, it got me to where I am today. On the other hand, um, there was a lot of disadvantages to doing it that way. So I would, like, when I was studying for the OSCP, I shot everything in, everyone off until I completed it. And I was writing blogs at the time. So it was at least a blog or two blogs um, every week. And my blogs are very detailed um, and they explain every little thing. And so those took an incredible amount of time and I was working full time at the same time and so on. So I did not have, um, yeah. And so I did not have a social life at all. Uh, but that did come at the disadvantage of uh, kind of like after finishing the OSCP burnout and and realizing that um, I've kind of caused myself uh, health problems from like the stress that I endured and they were unnecessary health problems. Um, I think for me, the reason that happened was because I was trying to prove to myself uh, because of imposter syndrome, I was trying to prove myself that I'm a good pen tester and I thought getting the OSCP certification meant that. But like I said, once you do get the OSCP certification, you realize that there's like pen testing is a huge field. There's so many other things that like like you could learn um, and so many other certifications that you could specialize in. And like, and so right now I actually take it much, much more easier than I did when I first started. I take it one step at a time and I surround myself with the right group of people. And what I mean by like the right group of people is experienced individuals who, when you ask them, oh, hey, do you know everything there is to know about pen testing? They go like, of course we don't. This is like a huge field. You can't like learn everything like, you know, in your lifetime. And so um, once you surround yourself with those people, you see people who are like experienced in this field and have like high positions and they say that, then you're more comfortable within yourself to say, oh yeah, this is going to take a long time and you don't want to burn out from the first, let's say two years or three years. And so take your time, understand the concepts and do whatever you can while balancing it with your social life and personal life. How long did it take you to get your OCP? So you decided to do it and then you passed. How long was that process? Uh, it took me a, a year just because I was also um, solving the hack the box boxes, which was, I can't remember, I think it was 40 or 50 boxes. Um, and I was documenting them as well. I actually didn't spend that much time in the OSCP labs. Once I finished with those boxes, I felt like I was ready for the exam. And so I enrolled in only one month in the OSCP certification. It took me two weeks and a half to complete their exercises. So at the time, if you completed the exercises, it was like five points extra on the exam. But right now I think it's like 10 points. But anyways, those exercises, that document, which took me two weeks and a half to complete was 300 pages long. So that big. And then um, I spent the remaining week and a half in the OSCP labs. I finished like, I think 30 or 40 boxes. Since then, it's all documented in a blog that I wrote, which we could link in the description. But yeah, so I felt ready. Um, I did the exam and I passed just because I did all that preparation work. Some people will finish it in like a month or two. But for me, it was more of like getting that technical knowledge versus getting that certification. And so I focused more on like understanding it and proving to myself that I understood it through the blogs. 